Hi everyone! Artix graciously sent me a box of pastels to play with and share with you. So this is going to be a review as well as a demo of these pastels. So it's a box of 48 colors and at first I thought well 48 colors in such a small box it's a bit strange but maybe there's two layers. In the back there's the color chart and um, of course you know it's probably not exactly the same colors as the actual sticks but it gives you an idea of what colors there are in there. They come well packaged, there's some foam on the inside of the lid and the sticks themselves are covered by a sheet of thick, it's not quite plastic, it's not glassine but it's uh, some kind of plastified paper with more swatches, the name of the colors as well as their numbers which is really nice because you know where to put them back. I think it's more like a clear vellum film. So now the reason why there are 48 colors in such a small box is because they're not full sticks. They're half sticks, however, they're chunky ones, which I actually like because the regular full size sticks, they're skinnier and more prone to break. The thick ones still contain a lot of pigment and a lot of pastels, but they are not as easy to break, obviously. So I took a a gray piece of pastel paper and I did swatches, not necessarily to see what colors they are because often on, on pastels what you see is what you get. But I just wanted to see how soft they are and how much dust they make. At first I found them pretty hard, uh, not quite, not super soft but then I realized it really depends on the colors and, um, and the property of the pigments, really. And something you need to know, I haven't played with soft pastels in a very long time. They used to be one of my favorite mediums until I started playing with all sorts of other mediums. And then I kind of put them on the side. So I really had to jump back into them. I did not really know what to expect with this brand. Uh, they usually have pretty good uh, art supplies, I've tried a few. So after swatching them all, I thought they were pretty soft after all. And I was quite excited to get started with them, but a little bit nervous too. So I went on Pixabay and I scrolled through the pages to see if I could find a picture that inspired me. I didn't really know what to draw. I, I guess a landscape would have been quite easy. Um, but this picture of a heron uh, caught my eye and I thought I would give it a shot. So I used the Canson sand grain, the uh, natural colored one. It's, it's like sandpaper but not quite. It's very textured paper that's great with pastels. I've used them with oil pastels and they worked really well. And I started applying the colors and uh, those colors are actually quite pigmented. They're nice and bright as you saw when I was swatching them. So because the paper is pretty grainy, I also used some uh, uh, plastic tools to try to smooth out the colors and blend them and fill in the little nooks and crannies uh, of the paper. And uh, those are, those, uh, they're color shapers, they're, they're really nice, they work very well, especially for details, I like them for details, which is quite often hard with pastel sticks. So I really went in not knowing what I was doing because it had been so long since I used pastels. I just um, tried to basically apply one first layer all over the place and then worked by going back on each layer and adding details. The first layer I tried to smooth out best I could with different tools. 
besides the color shapers i also used a makeup sponge but i didn't like that as much because it, it seemed like it removed more than it spread and then i started working in the background and i decided to just add three colors just the mid-tones the highlights and the shadows and work only with that Uh, once I added the first layer of each of those three colors, I blended them with my finger this time because I think when you blend with your finger, although not everybody likes doing that because it's quite messy um, and depending on the texture of your paper, it might not feel that great with, on your finger. But I think that doing that, you have more control over it and you don't spread the pigment as much. You're really pushing it in uh, into the paper and um, and to me it looks better so I just made a lot of mess and then I washed my hands after that and then I thought it looked pretty good and that was my first layer and then I went to um, the bottom of the drawing and I decided to leave the bush on the right for last because I didn't want to smudge it while working on the rest of the drawing, so I left that alone. So I went back several times with the three different colors on the background, and this time I used a color shaper, a, a, a thin one, to try to show some texture, some uh, some waves on the water, and it worked pretty well. I really, I'm really happy with the result. So after that I added more colors uh, to the bird, best I could, but I had a hard time adding details and getting the colors I wanted, especially for the feathers on the back. And I thought that I would uh, take out my pastel pencils to add the fine details. But I think that at that point, I had already too many layers of the pastels. Uh, the pastel pencils wouldn't work. They would just uh, carve the pastels out and not draw anything. So I only used them in areas where there were not too many layers and they would work a little bit like the eye because I hadn't taken care of the eye yet so that worked well for that and a few wispy feathers sticking out from the neck and the head and that's about it I tried to add more details on the the feathers on the back with the white pencil but it just didn't work and so I was a bit disappointed because that's the most beautiful part of the feathers I think and I was not able to reproduce it I had to stay loose uh, which, you know, it's, it's not a bad thing. It just pushed me to be more creative and draw loosely. I quite liked it when I drew the, um, the stomp in front of the, the bird. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, the, the colors, the depth of it, I think it looks pretty good. So that's what I tried to do with the bird too. And then after that, the leaves in the bush. I couldn't I couldn't recreate exactly what was on the picture because those pastels are too thick and knowing I couldn't use the pastel pencils then 
Uh, I did the best I could. <laughs> So overall, considering that I hadn't used uh, soft pastels in a very, very long time, I'm very happy with the result. And I really enjoyed using those pastels. They were very nice. They worked very well with the paper. Maybe if I had used an actual sanded paper, um, I would have been able to use pastel pencils on top uh, to add more details. Honestly, I don't know. I just have to, uh, to try and experiment but I really didn't have any problems with the pastels themselves. They were, they were fun to use. And there's a nice variety, a pretty wide variety of colors. And you can always mix them. So here you go. I will leave a link in the description box in case you're interested in these pastels. And that is all for today. Thank you all for stopping by. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and if you're feeling very generous and want to support it, you can always click on the thanks button right next to the share button. Have a wonderful day everyone. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye bye.